This is the 46th annual regatta. It's run by an independent committee. We are the host site and have been the host site for the past 23 years. The regatta is just a perfect fit for our business. We have a harbor with 113 boat slips. 66 of those are uncovered slips rented to cruising type sailboats. So to host the regatta is just a natural for our business. We've got boats from all over the state of Minnesota that come to this race, all, and North Dakota as well. So boats from Lake Minnetonka, boats from White Bear Lake, boats from the St. Croix, and then also boats that are represented uh, from this marina race in this regatta. Uh, this regatta is an open regatta. That means uh, sailboats of all shapes and sizes can sail together. But gee, how in the world can you score them? Because some boats are inherently faster and some are going to be slower. So uh, the U.S. Sailing Association has a handicap system. So what happens is if the course is uh, so many miles long, you get so many seconds added or subtracted from your time. So you have an actual time for your sailboat race and then a corrected time. We usually have um, three races, three days worth of races. We start on Saturday, we race Sunday and Monday. And um, usually what we do is we, the first day of race, we race onto the big lake if there's enough wind. And second day of race, we race out on the big lake as well. And the final day, we race in the bay. Uh, the committee boat is responsible for making sure that the start of the race is fair. So we uh, have get off all the fleets. Uh, we have uh, a set order that everybody uh, goes off in. Starting times are determined by the, each division. So Division 1 starts first. Today they started at 12 o'clock. Division 2 starts at 12.05 and so on. So we're the, we're the timekeepers and then we, we uh, time everybody in the, as they come in. So there are times when it's really busy and then it gets really boring and then it gets really chaotic at the end, uh, especially if you have four or five boats coming in all at the same time. It's a family kind of event. A lot of, a lot of generations come to this thing. We've seen three generations of sailors on boats, so that's pretty cool. Every year we have the, you know, working through the county, they have AIS inspectors. They've um, taken a lot of care, power washing, um, uh, waxing and, and scrubbing. Also, as part of our, our regatta on our website and during our registration, we ask people to make sure that their, their boats are checked when they pull them out of the lakes they're coming from as well, because we don't want to have them have surprises when they, when they come to the lake. And then we also check boats when they leave this marina as well. That's, that's what we're used to, and um, that's what we prefer. We actually don't mind that at all, because uh, many of the uh, sailboaters uh, our boats don't go up and down on a boat lift. Well, the sailboats are a little different than the regular fishing boats or um, any of the other cabin cruisers that come in. They have a, a center board that will go up inside of underneath inside of the sailboat that we have to crawl underneath and, and inspect. Um, zebra mussels and different um, aquatic vegetation will get stuck up in that when they bring that center board back up. Our boats are probably more, you know, subject to having problems with it than other, maybe a, a fishing boat that has a, you know, a, a boat lift on their dock and they can raise it up and not sit in the water for several months. The sailors that come for the regatta understand the situation with aquatic invasive species. So now it's just part of the event. So everybody gets inspected, and if there's a boat that's uh, that is suspicious it gets sent to one of the decontamination stations. When the users of the lake are educated, it makes everybody's job a lot easier. All in all, uh, it's, a, it's a fun time out on the lake and it's a great way to enjoy the Minnesota summertime on the water.